Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Yuan, MC for today. Student volunteer from Internet Society Hong Kong. Today's event is hosted by Internet Society Hong Kong. Hong Kong Software and Systems Process Improvement Network of Hong Kong Computer Society and Hong Kong Wireless Technologies Association. Hong Kong Science Technology Parks and also Cyber Park. Our event is co-hosted by Hong Kong Wireless Technology Industry Association, Hong Kong Software System Process Improvement Networks of Hong Kong Computer Society. On behalf of the host, I would like to send the warmest welcome to all of you for attending our event today. Also, special thanks will be given to our sponsors, BlackBerry and Microsoft, website sponsor, RSky, and all of these organizations for making this event happen today. Before our brilliant speakers share their latest information and technologies with us today, please give a round of applause to Professor Joseph Ng, Vice Chairman of Internet Society Hong Kong, one of our hosts, for his opening speech. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, dear Charles, Anthony, David, and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome to the second day of the World Internet Developer Summit. Well, as you know, the ISOC is one of the hosts hosting this event, and this day, today, we switch our venue from Cyberport from yesterday to here, the Science and Technology Park. Now, you may notice, uh, well, for the local people, I think, well, there's no uh, further introduction to these two venues, but the, for the foreign speakers, uh, these are the two more important venues for the internet developers and also for IT development in Hong Kong. So if you have time, you might as well uh, take a stroll in the park break in. Um, so um, I'm going to be short right here. So by looking at the program, you will notice that we will continue our technical speaks and, uh, and also discussion on uh, internet development. Okay. But on the other hand, instead of having a um, discussion panel just like yesterday on big data, this afternoon after the lunch, we will have a concurrent workshop sessions so that you can take your interest or to look at the current developments on, on the internet. And don't forget, at the end of the day, uh, we still have a startup lab for the, uh, uh, alongside with this WRDS, um, which will be, uh, should be interesting to close the uh, two-day event, okay? So um, I think ISOC will take this opportunity to organize more and more um, these kind of an activities just to identify, identify ourselves that we are very serious on internet development and hopefully in the next future, our next event will still attract more than uh, today's like a uh, uh, well, couple hundred people to join. Now, uh, by looking at uh, the schedule and also in view of time, I'm not going to uh, uh, further talk about uh, all the details on, uh, because it is already uh, listed in the technical program here. So let me, on behalf of ISO Hong Kong, uh, welcome you to the second day of the World Internet Developer Summit. Thank you. Constituency to deliver the opening. Mr. Mark, please. Good morning. Uh, well, well uh, welcome to the second day of the World Internet Developers Summit. Uh, I, I, I don't know how many of you were in the Cyberport yesterday and again in, in the Science Park today, but uh, I, I've seen a lot of faces who were uh, in our day one, so uh, it, was, it was a great thing to see you here. Uh, uh, just a couple of things, very short, that I want to say. First of all, uh, I was uh, in the Legislative Council last night and we had a motion debate about the uh, uh, higher education in Hong Kong. And one of the things that uh, is, I think, a bit related to what we have here today is that I mentioned uh, in, in, my, uh, in my speech that uh, I, I, we definitely need 
more uh, talent in the IT field uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, we have a very important role to play in Asia, but uh, over these last several years, we've been too dependent on, uh, in, in terms of our economy and the, in the society's focus, we've been a bit too focused on uh, financial services industry and some of the others uh, in Hong Kong, and we uh, really need more uh, new talent, young people to get into our field. So I think with uh, the events like today, uh, showing uh, many of our younger developers uh, the opportunities and what is, what is happening in the world out there uh, and seeing that so many of you uh, have the interest to, to share and to learn, uh, I think it will hopefully set up great examples for um, younger people to aspire. So that's the first thing that I really want to say. And the second thing is uh, I look at this uh, developers environment and I actually I have to say that uh, it's very different from uh, when I was a developer many many years ago, I was I would actually call myself a developer for a while uh, in probably in the late uh, 80s, uh, very early 90s, uh, long long time ago, more than 20 years ago. Uh, but of course, the, and then I started to when I listened to this to the presentation the other day, and I thought, well, what was the difference between then and now? And the biggest difference, really. I mean, computers are different, faster languages are different, of course, and so on. But the real, the main difference is that it's, it's the internet. Uh, because of the, because of the internet, uh, the environment really is very different. And the way that uh, these 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 uh, projects, that these these uh, applications that are being developed take on a very, very different uh, 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 perspective. And so, uh, that brings me to the last point, which is uh, Internet Society's motto. Uh, who knows what the, anyone know what the Internet Society's motto is in the, globally? It is that Internet is for everyone. So, I'd like to say that uh, with the efforts of all of you developers, you are making the internet really available for everyone. So that is a very important job, very important task, and very meaningful task. So with that, uh, thank you for being here again. And I uh, turn the time back to our MC and hope you will have a great day, uh, great sharing, and a great conference ahead of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mark. May I now also invite one of our hosts, Mr. Anthony Tan, CEO of Hong Kong Science Technology Parks Corporation, to say a few words. Mr. Tan, please. Thank you. Good morning, Charles, Joseph, David, ladies and gentlemen. Again, welcome to Hong Kong Science Park and for day two of the World Internet Developer Summit. And obviously, we are delighted to co-host co the 2013 summit with Internet Society and also the, uh, the Cyber Forum. And yesterday, we were privileged to hear esteemed speakers from Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, and witness an insightful discussion hosted by the Honorable Legislative Councillor Charles Mock. And today, we will maintain the, that momentum with speakers from BlackBerry, Mozilla, and Microsoft, as well as commencing with a number of workshops. I'm sure that you already understand the significance of this year's summer's focus, which is big data and cloud computing, and are already thinking about how you could help enterprise harness the benefits of cloud-based big data analytics and business intelligence to further enhance their business in ways that were previously unimaginable. The convergence of these trends is a great springboard to innovation, not only creating useful insights, but also creating incredible value. As a driver of innovation and technology development in Hong Kong, our corporation is committed to fostering and supporting the healthy growth of the IT industry which is one of our focused technology clusters. In addition to the state-of-the-art infrastructure available to, at the Hong Kong Science Park, which is now home to over 430 technology companies, we also operate a range of laboratories and technical centers to help small and medium-sized enterprises 
to reduce their capital outlay for the R&D and shorten time to market. Our incubation programs are designed to meet the needs of startups engaged in different technology clusters, namely the Incutech program, the Incubar program, and the latest addition uh, since January last year, which is the Incubat program. And these are in response to the rapid and promising development in web and mobile applications. And we are pleased with the growth of data centers in Hong Kong, which now boasts the highest concentration in the region. As I mentioned yesterday, we have already attracted 13 data centers to our industrial estates, including from some top companies such as Google, NTT, China Mo Mobile, and so on. And this will have various knock-on effects on the ICT in industry as a whole, including the creation of jobs, demand of expertise and talent, and that will drive innovation in that sector. These developments offer a great opportunity for Hong Kong to become pioneers and experts in all things related to data centers. This is the passion and commitment that make this happen, which will continue to play an important role in further strengthening Hong Kong's position as an ICT hub in Asia. However, our job is far from done. We still have a long road ahead of us where we must stay on the pulse of the latest market developments, continue to improve our programs and services to support technology industries, nurture startups, and helping them take off, and also committed to, thrive, to driving science and technology in Hong Kong forward. So once again, I welcome you all today and encourage you to work together, share experience, and inspire each other and to create an environment that encourages and supports a new generation of innovations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Tan. Last but not least, may I introduce Mr. David Chung, CTO of Hong Kong Cyber Park Management Corporation Limited, to deliver his welcoming notes. Mr. Chung, please. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Professor Hu, Charles, Anthony, and uh, I'm delighted to be here today at Science, uh, Science Park. And uh, I was uh, kind of missed the yesterday program because I was doing a lot of uh, 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 final review of our micro uh, fund, uh, and uh, so I was seeing a lot of startup company who is uh, you know submitting their report, and uh, we did a review uh, every one of them. And uh, I, I was trying to stay today uh, and, and listen to the great speaker. And uh, speaking about microfinancing and also the incubation program, we just closed the uh, uh, last submission and we received over 300 applications. So you can see the momentum. You know, I, I agree with Anthony that you know uh, the startup ecosystem in Hong Kong is just uh, the beginning. I would say you know you see a lot of. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Southport and Science Park have been doing a lot of incubation and also we, we are seeing some of the commercial incubators uh, starting to do uh, participate and, and all that. I just came back from uh, San Francisco and, uh, you know, two weeks trip uh, in, in U.S. And uh, I, can, I can just uh, give you some observation and then uh, I'm sure a lot of you are doing uh, startup and um, the industry is changing so rapidly. Uh, last year, or, or we are still doing it, it's like the app, you know, development. Uh, but uh, we are seeing a lot of new trends uh, happening in 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 the U.S. in the Bay Area. Um, you know, one of the great, uh, you know, uh, I would say the um, industry is shifting to, uh, you know, wearable computing. Um, as you understand, you know, uh, wearable computing has been uh, kind of uh, uh, bubbling and, uh, you know, uh, we're seeing a lot of Internet of Things, RFID technologies going on. Uh, with the uh, latest, you know, like Google Glasses, you know, the Nike uh, Fuel uh, Band, you know, all that. You know, you, you'll see a lot of these uh, latest gadgets will, will take place. Uh, in tr uh, 2014, just next year, we are, we are uh, predicting, you know, this, this kind of uh, device will be uh, surpassing 100 million units. So people are expecting, you know, this, this, um, you know, this uh, market size will grow up to over, uh, you know, um, 18 billion US dollars. 
So this one, one, one of the observation I, I come back. So I'm asking you, you know, try to catch this, uh, this new, new uh, phenomenon. You know, maybe we can, uh, you know, share some of that uh, uh, as well. Share that some of the side. The second, I would say, uh, 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 observation I, I got is the software-defined network, the virtual networks uh, of, of internet. So we are talking about uh, uh, IPv6, IPv4, you know, we run out of addresses. But people are using new technology uh, to resolve this kind of issue, you know, uh, and also to, to bring a lot of infrastructure as a service, you know, cloud computing. Uh, and then virtualize the network as well. So bandwidth on demand, all that can be happening uh, in in uh, you know zero second without uh, any human intervention. So again, this is also a lot of new companies uh, I see in the Bay Area uh, on virtual network using software to to uh, you know program your your network capability, and uh, we we seeing all this uh, happening. And the, this market is uh, growing also very fast, and a lot of VC money is going or following this, this trend as well. Not to mention cloud, you know, this, uh, um, you know, big data uh, is very important. And that's why uh, Cyberport uh, has embarked this journey and uh, we have already uh, set up our own uh, community cloud, serving our sub community, and uh, we'll commission this uh, uh, in two months time. And a lot of this uh, great technology, you know, virtual networking, infrastructure as service, etc., etc., will be uh, online very soon and serving the community in Hong Kong. Um, and uh, I will just uh, congratulate uh, um, you know uh, ISOC and uh, you know Science Park uh, and we're we're here to bring the world class get, uh, uh, speaker uh, to share their knowledge to share the um, you know some of the latest uh, uh, development trend and uh, hopefully we can learn from this. And uh, I will uh, thank you. Thanks everyone again, and I will hope to see you very soon. Okay, thank you. Mr. Shaw, so, please stay on the stage for a group photo with our speakers. May I invite our guests, Professor Ng, Mr. Mark, and Mr. Tan, to come to the stage once again. May I also invite our speakers, Prince Tao, Madeline Tai from Hong Kong, Microsoft Hong Kong, Ting Yuan Huang from Mozilla, Lisa Koskela from Reactor, Dr. Wei Gao from LinkedIn. Josh from Twitter and Paul from Square to join our group photo, please. Thank you.